What's going on everybody? I'm Rob, this is Carl. Hey. We're here from Icon Labs. We're back. Today we're going to do a frequency response test on the Apple HomePod. We're going to compare this to our previous test we did an Alexa subwoofer system test. We did a uh, Google Home Max test. Mm -hmm. So we're going to kind of put them all together and just sort of let everybody look at it and see what the, um, what the overall response was. Uh, guiltless plug for for our wannabe sponsors, Pete's. Everywhere I go, I plug Pete's. So I think he's a what you, Warriors. Is this the Warriors? No, Burger King today. Oh, he wants Burger King sponsor, not Warriors sponsor. He wants Burger King sponsor. Well, both actually. Okay, Burger. Oh, that's fine. We previously paired this and got it all set up, and in the last set of videos, we sort of paired it in front of everybody to watch how it was. So we did this one previously before we got here to save a little time and to focus this video, but it was seamless. This one was really, really easy, really, really fast. Now I did pair it to. Uh, an iPhone, so maybe that helps because I know in the past uh, you had I couldn't get the Google one to pair very well to my iPhone, but you have an Android and it was it was definitely quicker. We'd yeah. say Apple's been pretty good with with different types of, of products, so I don't see it having any issues. Yeah, it was good. So maybe in, in the future we'll shoot a video that we can show that and show mm -hmm. the pairing process. This one was it, it was damn near just click next 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 and um, it, and it set up. So one thing was really a little weird but nice is all you know. So I store all my songs in the cloud. Um, and so they were instantly all there, uh, so that was that was pretty cool. Though just recently, before this started, we had these problems where we were setting it up, and all of a sudden it would just start automatically playing songs from my cloud, um, and and it was not showing on my phone as anything was streaming or playing, and so that was a little bit funky. But Interesting. Yeah. So who knows? All right. So here we are. We're in the studio. So we got Michael Rosen at the helm here. We're pulling up. Here's a frequency response. So. Michael, you were just saying that we're getting like actual response. Uh, this is the Apple HomePod. We're getting response from. What'd you say about? It? So it's going down to about 15, 18, about 20. It looks super tight, and then at the top, at about 20, it drops off like a rock. But it's getting up to. It looks like about 16, 18 up here. Yeah. Got a little bit of a bump in the middle, two to five. It's it's um, popping pretty hard. And then it's dropping off a little bit as it gets above that. Yes, yeah, so it looks looks pretty calculated DSP to me. They're in there very much, yeah. you know, trying to attenuate certain frequencies. I think that two K, two to four K bump is a little interesting, and it'll be there's some other research we're doing that'll be interesting to talk about. See what that what that matters. Yeah, and you think you know if the the idea is what you spend on these things and the convenience you get that you can just say play this and it does, yeah. uh, you know, and then it, it fills the room pretty well. That's uh, not terrible. Thank you so much. We'll be back.